Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penge and welcome to Koi Farm, which is a nice relaxing game all about fish. More specifically koi fish, obviously because it's called Koi Farm, and the idea of the game is to breed certain types of koi fish with other types of koi fish in order to make new breeds of, yes you've guessed it, koi fish. And that's kind of it. That is the whole idea of the game. It's a lovely, calm, relaxing game about fish. And I think that's a good thing. What with everything going on in the world right now, a lovely, serene, simple game about fish might just be what people need. You can play this and just let your mind wander. You can relax and just you know, go down to the pond and just look at some lovely fish. It's all very calm. The only thing is, I know nothing about koi fish at all. I know nothing at all. I mean, apart from the fact that you know, obviously they're fish and they live in water, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. My knowledge of koi fish is pretty much exhausted at that point, but I am sure we will be able to muddle through. We will muddle through as best we can. It's on Steam now, and of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below, and we were indeed given a key to this by the devs, which is very lovely. So thank you very much, devs. So let's start a new game and go and relax by the pond. And here we go. So we're down by our two koi ponds, because yes, we've got two of them, because we're fancy like that. So here is our big koi pond, and here's a little koi pond, and then running between them is this lovely little stream here and everything is just so calm. Everything is just very, very relaxed. There's lots of little butterflies fluttering around. The grass and the plants are gently sort of swaying in the breeze. The fish are swimming nice and calmly around the place. And in the background, you won't be able to hear it, I don't think, because, you know, my voice will be talking over it. But there is a nice sound effect of just sort of outdoors ambience. So, you know, just sort of birds tweeting away and gentle sort of, you know, sort of leaves rustling and stuff. It's very, very calm indeed. So, of course, because we started at our new ponds, we've got a bit of tutorial to get through. So, move the fish by pressing it and dragging it across the screen. Okay, let's do that. There you go, fish. I've picked you up. Don't worry, I'll put you back down. Put a fish into the small pond. Okay, or well, let's pick you because we just moved you about. Put another fish into the small pond to allow both fish to breed. Okay, well, you're nearest, so let's just pop you in there. Two fish will reproduce after being together for a while without being disturbed. Okay, right, give them some privacy, everybody. Let fish with different colours breed to create new variants. Okie doke, we'll do. Oh, look, and there's little tiny fish. There's little tiny fish in there now. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's exciting. This is very exciting. There we go. So there's little tiny baby fish. So these two have bred and now we've got different fish, I imagine. Okay. So now can we put you in? What do we do with you? Do we just let you go now? Yeah, all right. You can go back swimming along the nice stream. There you go. You've, you've, done, you've done well there. You've done very well. So these fish are slowly but surely getting bigger by the look of it. Let's put them into the big pond. Let's put them into the big pond. I do like how there's ripples where you put them down. Look, we drop the fish in and the ponds properly ripple from that point. Oh, that is very exciting. There's quite a lot of them down here. There's a lot of fish going on just there. Um, okay. Okay, how about then? What if we go for uh, the yellow fish there and that black fish there? Let's just see what happens with those two. In fact, that might be a bit too little, possibly. Hang on. There's you. Let's put you in there. There we go. So two fully grown fish. Right, leave them to it. Give them a bit of privacy. And we'll just see what happens here. Because, yeah, these fish here, they're just little tiny, they're tiny, tiny black fish. But then I'm expecting, yeah, these are going to be somehow different. Are these fish going to be different? Right, let's put you back into there with, with that one. There we go. So yellow fish and that fish. And we need, do we need to control the speed at which they breed? Are we just going to have gazillions of fish swimming around everywhere? Because, yeah, that pond's going to get full very quickly. Oh, and it's raining a little bit. There's a little bit of weather going on. We can even enjoy, we can enjoy the power of nature. So yeah, it's raining, it's not great, but it's still very lovely. It's still very calm. Okay, oh look, yeah, they've got, they've got patterns on them. They've got patterns on them, have these fish. Hang on, we need to wait for them to uh, just grow up a little bit because we can't fully see the patterns there. But yeah, that's exciting. Okay, so now hang on, hang on. So what if we took you out and you out and you out Let's put you back into the main water thing because you can swim away. Because now we've got lots of other, lots of these sort of uh, black or grey fish in there now. So we've got you. So what if we then put in a white fish into here? What then happens with you two? What then goes on there? Does anything exciting happen? Put in that one there. Move a fish to, dr to the drop target in the lower half of the screen to turn it into a storable card. Drop target in the lower half of the screen. Okay. Um here. Oh, a little thing has popped up. Okay, so we'll put that there. And now we have ourselves a little fish card. It tells us the weight, 
and the length of fish and the age. That fish is one minute old. Oh, it's a tiny baby fish. Okay, open the book to store the card. Drag the card into one of the book slots to store it. Okay, pop it up there. Unlock more pages by storing the appropriate cards in the slot. Ah, so it's not just, it's not just sort of a relaxing experience. It's not just a case of, right, there you go, you're just clicking on fish. There is an actual little bit of a, a kind of progression in here. So we need to get ourselves, yeah, those fish are pretty basic. We can get those done. It looks like we might have got that done as well. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Yeah, okay, fine. So we can do that. So come out of that for a second. So, right, hang on. You, let's just pop you down here into there. So, right, go like that. And we can put you there because you're just a regular plain white fish. And then we need to do the same with you. So you're just a sort of a black fish. So, right, hang on, go to there. So you can go into there like that. But then down here, look, over here in this little sort of, uh, in this lot of fish that have just been born, they're slightly different. Right, let's get you. Let's put you there. Okay, this, this is nice. I like this. Right, now, would you say... That matches, yeah, that's a white, it's got a white tail. So I'd say it's that one there. Okay, but then I assume that is not going to meet those requirements. Because yeah, that is, that's a white fish with black patches and that needs to be a black fish with white patches. Okay, okay, we can work this out. We can work this out. Um, right, go out like that. Oh, there's, lo there's loads of little tiny fish. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Bring the tiny fish over here. Come over here, tiny fish. Um, what we need is, what we need, we need to get ourselves one of you and one of you, I think. I think that's what we might need, possibly. Let's see what happens with those fish there. Let's see what happens with that combo. This is all very nice. I like this. I like this. But yeah, I didn't realise there was a little bit of a sort of progression there. But yeah, we can keep these. Here, we can pop you in there and we can, we can keep you. So at two minutes old, you were 0 0.7 feet long and you were 1.79 pounds. Little fish there, little Freddy the fish. But yeah, I mean, they're not very old, are they? They're not very old at all. But yeah, there we go. So we're storing fish. But yeah, if we want to store more fish, then we need to unlock this just here. Okay, now how are we going to get this? How are we going to get that? Because they've just got... They've just got two regular white fish and three black fish. Okay. Okay, do we need to... Do we need to put in... Hang on a minute, hang on. What if... What if... You can go in your merry way. That's all fine. You also go on your merry way, because I think we've got plenty of those types of fish. We've already got those in our sort of book, I think. So you go to there, and then over here, let's have one of those and one of those. Let's see if that does anything. Let's see what kind of uh, what kind of patterns we get off of those fish there. Let's see if that's doing anything. I mean, look, there, that's exciting. That's exciting. That's a black fish with a yellow splodge. Let's keep you. You're an exciting fish. There we go. Do you vanish from the world? Yeah, I think they vanish from the world. I think we we take them away from the world because we're kind of storing them somewhere else. Maybe we're putting them in a shop to sell or whatever. Okay, right. That's a fish with a black splodge on it. Yeah, I don't know if this is... That's not working quite as I was expecting. Uh, hang on, put another one of those in. Let's see if that hurries things along any. Not entirely sure it will, but we could give it a go. But yes, we're looking for a predominantly black fish with some white, some white spots. Okay, yeah, we've got the reverse. We've got the reverse in you, which is not great, really, is it? That's not ideal. Don't think any of these are meeting the criteria either, by the look of it. No. Okay, never mind. What if we put in? What if we put in a large? Hang on. Right. Let's put you over there. You can go out. You can go into there. You can go into there and you can go into there. What if those two eventually breed? There is a larger black fish and then a little white fish with a black sort of verse blodge on it. There we go. Some more fish have appeared. The thing is, they're so tiny, I can barely see them. Right, okay, what are you like? You're you're tiny. You're tiny. You're so little. Okay, no, maybe not you. Can we can we drop you? Oh, we've put you back. Hang on, go back over there. Go back over there. I feel a bit bad that we took you away from mum and dad there. Okay. Um, yeah. So how do we get this? How do we get that particular combo? I mean, yeah, that's not going to work either, is it? That's not going to work. It needs to be this one, but kind of reversed. It needs to be this fish, but yeah, sort of reversed in its colour scheme there. Not entirely sure how we go about that. There's there's an awful lot of fish in that particular pond. Let's let <laughs> let's let some of them out, shall we? There's there's an awful lot of them there. Right. What if we get 
What if we try that and that? What if we what if we give that a go? Leave all them in there. In fact, let's chuck you in as well. Let's throw all of these fish in. There we go. Now I don't know if the two ponds have got any strict. Is this the breeding pond and this not? But no, but they're breeding. Are they breeding in this pond? Are there little fish appearing in this pond? I think there are, aren't there? I think there are little fish appearing in this pond because we've certainly not put that many fish in there. So I assume the two ponds don't have any different purpose other than this one's just a bit bigger. It's just a slightly grander pond. Oh, we can just go and tap the water, look. We can just go and tap the water. It doesn't scare the fish, though. Oh, that would have been quite a nice touch. Never mind. Okay, right. We need to sort out what we're doing with this. I'm getting slightly distracted. I'm getting sidetracked by, by ripple effects. Yeah, we need this. So let's see. How can we do that? Because we can't store any more can't store any more fish. What do we have in the book? Have we got the yellow one? Yeah, hang on a minute, hang on. I quite like, quite like you. You're exciting. You're an exciting fish. Let's put you just there. And now we can't store any more fish, but yeah, we want to get this one done. So let's see what we can do. So you can go on your merry way. You can just go, go a swim in that way. It's all fine. You go that way. You go that way. You go that way. So what if we have, ah, that's perfect. What if we have a little tiny fish like that and slightly bigger black fish. Let's see if they do something in time. Let's see. Hang on. No, let's take the little fish out, actually. Take you out. Put in... I know you. Let's give that a go, shall we? Let's see if that does anything. It's got to do something. Surely at some point this has got to, this has got to work. Unless we put a white fish with black spots and then a black fish into the same thing. Yeah, look, they just make black and white fish. Yeah, that's that's not what we want there. That is that's not what we want at all. You can you can go go and have a lovely swim in the stream. There we go. Weather's gone slightly inclement, but never mind. Yeah, what if we have you and you? What is that going to do? Let's see what sort of fish that results in when you do your breeding. Don't worry, we'll look away or cover my eyes or something. Hopefully that will hopefully that will work. So yeah, there are four fish. There's four in there. You're a little... I think we've got lots of you anyway. You're like you're a white fish with a black kind of splodge. But are these fish black fish with white splodges or not? I can't tell. I can't tell. I don't want to drag them back down there. Can we tell? Yeah, that's just a regular black fish. Let's put it back into the... Uh, let's put it back into the water for now. Um, Right, they can just go on their merry way. You can go. There you go. It's all lovely out there. Go and explore the stream. It's nice. And then, um, yeah, you two can you two can try again, and we'll see what that produces. Okay, again, I think it's producing solely black fish. Hang on. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to think about this in a bit of a sort of a puzzle game aspect. So you can go on your way. How about we have ourselves? I quite like those fish. So we'll keep those. How about we have ourselves a white fish with a black kind of speckly thing and another white fish with a black speckly thing on it. There we go. Let's see what you two produce. Let's see if you produce different varieties of fish that we've not seen before. Because surely the chance of that is pretty good. Surely. I mean, if not, we're going to be struggling a little bit. We've kind of fallen at the first fish breeding hurdle and that we can't make this particular fish here. You thought we might have muddled through at that point by now. But again, I like this. There's no there's no pressure, there's no time limits, nothing is flashing up on the screen, and everything is moving around in a very serene way. I imagine it's designed to do that. You know, there's nothing alarming going on, there's no bits sort of popping up and jumping around. You know, the fish are swimming around very slowly, a slow pace, and everything is just you know, very gently sort of uh, gently swaying about. It is very nice, it's very nice. Ah, you. You might be the one. Hang on a minute, hang on, no, keep you there. It might be you. Are you going to meet the requirements? Yay, there we go. You're only teeny tiny, but you meet those requirements. So now we can press here. Oh, oh, I see. We're get, getting into sort of different colours of fish. So yeah, we've gone sort of black and white fish. And now we're going to go through sort of the yellowy fish. Okay, okay. I mean, there is, there's a yellow fish. The only thing is we might need you to do some breeding actually. Right, so pop you into there, pop you into there. You can go in there and you lot can just go swimming away because it's nice. Right. Yellow fish in there. Then what else did we need? Yellow with... Yeah, where do we get an orange fish from? Where do we get an orange fish? Do we go to the shop and get one? I don't know. Okay. Uh, hang on. However, right. Let's get you. Put that there. So that's a yellow fish and a white fish, which I imagine would make a white fish with yellow spots. 
I'm kind of hoping that's that's going to happen there. So we'll see if that actually works when these two get around to doing the whole breeding thing. Is there an orange fish coming in? Is there an orange fish coming in? No, there is not, unfortunately. Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was kind of hoping one might come in. Now, I don't know how to get an orange fish. I'm not really sure. Again, my knowledge of koi fish is very, very limited to the point that they're fish and they need water. But yeah, I wonder, ah, hang on, hang on. That could be, that could be the one that we want to fill in the bottom left corner of the book just there. So now the big mystery is, how do we get the orange fish? You just look like a white, a regular white fish. So you can go and you can go and you can go. But yeah, you look like, hang on, hang on. Can we just have you on your own? So you're a yellow fish. You can go into there. You can go into there. And you can go back into there. And we'll let you grow up a bit. We'll let you grow up a little bit. Because I think you might be the one that we're after. But, yeah, are you, are you coming up as a fry, I think it said. Yeah, you're a fry. I want you to get a bit bigger. I want you to be a little bit of a bigger fish before we put you in our book. So you go back in there. Just have a nice swim about. Have a nice swim about. Just grow up a bit. Enjoy your youth, little fish. Do you know what? This is a perfect cup of tea game. It's an absolutely perfect game to enjoy with a nice cup of tea. Because it's so slow paced and so relaxing that you can just quite happily sit back and just watch things happening and just sip at your tea. Because, yeah, there's no time sliders. You can't make things go any quicker or slower. You just have to sort of wait for time to go by at the set speed. But, yeah, it's just nice. You can just sit back and sip at your tea and just sort of chill out a little bit. However, our fish friend here has now grown up a little bit. So, yeah, they're now all of two minutes old. They're almost a foot long. Can we wait until you're a foot long? I mean, I don't need to. We don't need to wait for you to get to that point. But I would like you to do that. So, let's see. Are you going to get to a foot long. Are you a foot long? No, you're still 0.9 feet long. Sorry. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. And of course, I don't think these fish will breed, just thinking about it, because yes, the fish have to be uninterrupted. But of course, this lot swimming around in a great big kind of, great big gaggle of fish. I'm sure they've got a name. A shoal, that's it. A shoal of fish. I did know that. It's in the back of my mind somewhere. So yeah, they're all swimming around in a big shoal. So they're not going to, they're not going to actually breed because they're all together. They're not on their own enough. But there we go. We'll sort that out in a second. Right, you, are you a foot long yet? Yes, 1.1 feet long. Okay, I, we're going to stay there. We're going to put you just there. Matt's not enough. Oh, oh, I'd pin my hopes on you. Oh, no, you're, no, you're yellow, but with a white splotch. You know what? We'll put you just there. We'll put you just there. Right, here we go. We're going to have, hang on, let's have you. Yellow fish and yellow fish. Let's see if two yellow fish together, when they breed, make orange fish, because I'm not entirely sure. And we will take you out and we will store you up there in that corner. Okay, wonderful stuff. So there we go. <gasps> yes, there's an orange fish. So it looks like those two have got together. They've had a lovely, nice time. And they've got five little children, but one of them is orange. Okay, this is very good. Right, orange fish, get over there, please. Get over there and just, you know, have a little swim about. It's all fine. The rest of them, I think, are just yellow fish by the look of it. Right, we'll keep... Keep two of those in the big pond and then we'll get rid of you and you can just go on your merry way as well. Have a nice swim. Enjoy whatever is downstream or upstream, whatever. I don't know which way the stream's going. Enjoy whatever's in the stream that you can find. Also, let's just get rid of a few of these because there are quite a lot of other fish around. So yeah, let's just get rid of a number of these out of the big pond. So yeah, we'll keep, maybe we'll try and keep a couple of each. Yeah, there's loads of black fish in there, so we don't need those. So two, two white fish. That's fine. Two blackfish, two yellowfish. There's a kind of a yellow one with black spots. Several white fish with kind of black spots. We'll get rid of some of those. There we go. That sort of, uh, that's trimmed the numbers down a little bit. And yeah, look, the orange fish. Right, hang on. Other orange fish get in there and yellowfish continue to swim off in that direction. Because, of course, we've got two yellowfish just here. But we're going to need lots of orange fish, I imagine, to try and get things further on in this book. So yeah, there we go. Right, so it's all looking nice, all looking lovely. Do you want to keep you? You're quite unusual. Let's keep you. Let's put you in the book. Why not? I quite like you. 17 minutes old. You're one of the older fish. You're very much an older fish. Oh, and you're ancient. You're a 46 minute old fish. You're, you're practically, you're one of the old guard. You're part of the fish furniture, I think. Okay, right. So that's that done. And there is another orange fish. So what we'll do is we'll just wait until we have four of those. 
because that gives us a little bit of flexibility. Okay, so there we go. Little fish can go swimming around again. Yeah, the yellow ones over here are growing up quite nicely. So yeah, we just want one more orange fish. Oh, I don't think we got an orange fish in that particular little that little run there. Never mind. Do you know what? We'll keep. Let's put you over there. And then the rest of your siblings can go that way. They can roam free in the lovely stream. So then, yeah, you two. Just, we just need one more orange fish. Please, just a little orange fish would do the job very nicely indeed. If you could just, you know, if you could oblige, please, fish friends, that'd be great. No, once again, no orange fish with that particular little sort of uh, breeding attempt there. Never mind, never mind. We're still making lots of lovely fish. Lots of fish are there. We're getting so many nice fish swimming around in the stream and such. But yeah, we're not quite getting the final orange fish that we're after. But do you know what? It's fine. Again, the virtue of this game is that there is no rush. It's not like there's a timer. There's no timer on this. We can just wait for them to just have another go and see if an orange fish comes from this. And no, again, no. Do you know what? We'll give it one more go. We'll let them have one more little try. And then if no orange fish comes from the next sort of uh, the next breeding run between these two, it'll be fine. We've got three of them. We've got three of them. We can just start doing some stuff up here with those three. But yeah, I just wanted to get four. Just wanted to get four in because then, yeah, I suppose... We could. Let's just see what they do. I wonder what happens if you breed an orange and an orange fish. I mean, as we've seen, two yellow fish make an orange fish. So I wonder. I wonder. And no, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe they just they're they're done now. That is it. Their genes have been have been done sufficiently, so they've got three orange fish, and that's kind of it. So you two can go there. You two can swim away, go and have a fun time. Right. So what did we need? We can put an orange fish in there directly. So that's fine. So we'll drag you down there. You are 1.1 feet long and 2.27 pounds. Good to know. So you can go straight up there. But then, yeah, we're going to need these. But what happens if we get ourselves an orange fish and a blackfish? Let's see what happens with those. Let's see what happens here. We're going to get, obviously, wait, well, actually, I say obviously. Not entirely clear, is it? Because mixing two yellow fish produced an orange fish. So who knows what's going to happen with these ones here? There are some you look interesting. You, oh, you're too small. You're too small to see right now. I can't really see what's going on there. Right, you go back in there. You go back in there. Let's see what happens. Ah, now, there we go. I think they're just regular orange fish by the look of it. Oh, there we go. We waited for ages for those two yellow fish to produce orange fish. And now we've got two there. Wonderful. And you might just be a regular black fish, possibly, I think. Hang on, can we see? Yeah, just a regular blackfish. Okay, that's fine. You can go go free. Go free, my friend. Go and enjoy the stream. But yeah, you, you are yellow and black. Okay, okay, that's good. Right, we'll wait for you to not be a little, a, a fry, as it calls it. Um, and then how about we get an orange fish and a white fish, because that will presumably let us meet that particular goal there. And then, yes, and then we want to get a yellow fish and a white fish as well and see what happens with them. Okay. That might be the one we're after. That one there might be the one we're after. Possibly. I can't really see. It's all very small. It's all very, very small. Joe, you know what? You're just a regular fish. You can go on your way. You can go and have a nice swim down the river as well. Right, you two, have another go. Because that looks like... I can't really see because you're a teeny tiny fish. It looks like you're mostly orange with a little bit of, ye uh, little bit of white, sorry. And I think we want that the other way round. We want mostly white with a little bit of orange. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can try that. We can see what these come up with next time when they breed. And there we go. They're done already. Can't, again, difficult to see when they're tiny. Difficult to see when the fish are literally just a few pixels in a line swimming around. So, yeah, it's very hard to see. It looks like, hang on a minute. Are you just, yeah, these are, these are all relatively ordinary, I think. Yeah, they've not got the patterns on that we are requiring. Never mind, never mind. Right, you two, have another go. Okay, we have some interesting developments going on down here. I think you're just a normal fish. Yeah, you're just a regular white fish. You can be on your way. And you are also just a regular white fish. You, however, are... Yeah, you're orange and white. So we'll keep you. But you, you look very interesting. You are red. You're red and white. Oh, and it's raining. There's a storm. Oh, there's a lovely sort of sound of rain and storminess in the background oh crikey okay that's that's very calming as well it's nice listening to us sort of, listening to rain is always quite relaxing isn't it okay there we go right joe we'll put you in there because you're a red fish okay this is wonderful right what we're gonna do is let's get you pop you 
How many white fish we've got? Yeah, let's put you back into there and... Right, hang on. You're just a regular white fish by the look of it. And you, and you. We've got plenty of those. You're an orange fish. You can go over to there and you can go in there as well. And then how about then an orange fish and an orange fish? What do they make? Do they make red fish? Because we have now got one red fish with white sort of patterns on it. Yeah, predominantly red with white splodges. So I wonder if that's what they make. No, not that time round anyway. Not that time round. It's just a massive load of orange fish, as you would expect. As you would kind of expect. That's, that seems fair enough. However, on the next little breeding run there, there is indeed a red fish. Okay, this is wonderful. Right, put another orange fish over there. You two orange fish, you can go on your merry way. That's all fine. Right, put you back in there. Okay, okay. So we still are after the predominantly white fish with the yellow spots and a predominantly white fish with orange spots. Okay, what if, what if it, what if the size of the fish is somehow involved? So the bigger fish here is white and that fish there is smaller and orange. So I wonder if it will become a mostly white fish with smaller orange bits on it. I wonder if that's a thing that we need to take into account. I have no idea. I've got no idea at all. I guess we will find out if these two are able to breed. I mean, is that too small? I don't know. Again, fish knowledge, very limited. Don't know if that's going to work at all. But do you know what? Time will tell. Time will tell. I've got some tea. It's fine. I'll just sip up my tea and just, you know, watch the world go by. There's some butterflies over there near those sort of... Uh, those sort of tall, what are they, bulrush type things or whatever. But yeah, we'll just sort of sit back. Oh, no, there we go. They're done already. Um, it doesn't look like it's worked that time. But that's not to say that that isn't going to work at all. Okay, right. Yeah, everyone, you can just all go back into the regular stream there. Nice fish. It's fine. You're lovely and you're special. But yes, we don't need you for our sort of our, our breeding program, if you like. So you can just go. You can just go and just adventure and explore the world in the stream. Okay, again, I don't think they've produced the fish that we're after. Is that a yellow fish, however? Have they made another yellow one? Yes, they have. Okay, that's still fine. Yeah, and I think the others are just all one. They're either orange or white, aren't they? Okay, so yeah, you lot go back into there and have another go, please. Have another try. And I was hoping to say the third time's the charm, but no, it doesn't seem to be the case. I think that's just, again, a yellow. Oh, it's a yellow and white fish. Okay, we'll keep you. We'll keep you. You're just orange, yeah, you're sort of regular. You're just orange as well. And it looks like you're just a white fish. Yeah, okay, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. However, what if we take you out and put in a slightly bigger? What if we put in, what if we put in you? Let's go like that. Let's put in an orange and white fish to go with the already, you know, solely white fish. What's going to happen there? What's going to happen here? They have produced something. What are you? You're just a regular white fish. You are mostly orange with white. You can go. You're probably mostly orange with white as well. And you are solely orange. Okay, fine. I mean, it's got to be something like this. This has got to be how it works. It just needs a little bit of sort of trial and error. Because, of course, yeah, it's not going to happen immediately. So, yeah, we'll just keep waiting. A little bit of rain coming down now. But we'll wait and see what happens on the next the next sort of uh, attempt with these lot. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Have you, have you got... Oh, I thought you had orange on you, boo. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately not. Yeah, you're mostly orange and then white. Okay, this is trickier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, you know, again, no pressure, but... I thought this would be, let's keep you, I thought this would be a bit easier. I thought this would be a bit easier, but um, but no, no, clearly not. Uh, hang on, hang on. What if, what if we get rid of you and we get rid of you? What if we put you in with you? What if we do that? So orange with white blobs and orange with white blobs. Let's see what happens if you two have baby fish. I think there's another red fish just there. A red and white fish. Yes, keep that. But are you the one we're looking for? Yay, there you go. White fish predominantly with orange blobs. Okay, right. You come over to here for now and we'll keep you. You can go. We're swimming away. You can come back in. You can come back in. Okay, right. We've got quite a lot of orange fish in there now, actually. We don't quite need so many orange fish. <laughs> Once upon a time, we didn't have that many. Now we seem to have quite a lot of them. Okay, so yeah. So you're going to have got red fish. Red are going to be on the next pages of our book, aren't they? They're going to be on the next pages of the book. So we've got that sorted. So now we just need yellow. We need the equivalent of that. So, yeah, we need ones with 
yellow and white are you no you're not that hang on right so we need to get you and you to make yellow and white fish have we not have we not got any of those no seemingly seemingly not but yeah okay that surprises me that surprises me a little bit but okay you're just regular you're just a regular fish are you yellow and white nope just yellow you're i think just yellow yeah, you're just jealous. You in you go, and you are just a whitefish. Okay, okay. So you can be released into the freedom of the stream, and we'll give these two another go. Well, there we go. There is one yellow and white fish. So that seems to have worked quite well. I think all the others are just singular colours, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're just white. So away with you, and you are yellow. So away with you. So there we go. So we have one yellow and white fish, and I think are you. Do we have another yellow and white fish anywhere? I'm not entirely sure. We've got you, definitely you. There's yellow and black fish there. Come on, give us another one. There's another orange fish there. <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, are any of these yellow and white? Nope, you're just yellow. You're just a yellow fish. Plenty of those now. A white fish and an orange fish. Yeah, once upon a time, they would have been quite handy. But no, no, now it's fine. Again, into the freedom of the river with you, my fish friends. And there we go. It took a while. It took a little while, but I now think we have ourselves several fish. Yeah, you're mostly yellow with a bit of white, so we'll keep you. And I think you are, you're just yellow, so you can go. But I think that one looks like that is yellow with white as well. So we'll keep both of those. What about you? You're white with yellow as well. Okay, so there we go. Hang on, hang on. What? You're predominantly yellow with white. You can go back in there. Are you white, mainly yellow? Ah, okay. That would probably do for that one. Okay, wonderful stuff. Right, so now we can do that. So we've got this sort of sorted. So how about then we have you? Oh no, hang on a minute. No, where's the, where is you? We're going to have to have you. So you go to here. Let's pop you just there. There we go. Splendid stuff. And then we just want to get you sorted. So let's put you two back in the, the big pond. And then the little fish can... You can go into there because that's nice. And it looks like all you lot are just regular, regular fish. So into the into the stream of freedom. And then, yes, we want to get you. So white with yellow spots. Um, You're in there somewhere. You, there we go. White with yellow. Yeah, so pop you just there. So we've got a little bit of space here. Do you know what? Let's put a couple of fish in. Why not? Why not? Let's put you in because you're exciting and you're quite big. So you can go in there. And then how about... See that black one there with the yellow spots? Are we going to need that when we go to our next page? Let's get you. You're quite exciting. And you're quite big as well. You're 2.4 feet long. Right, okay. On to the next page. Ah. Oh, there's all sorts of exciting things going on just here. Right. We have got you. We've got you already sorted. So we can do that one pretty much straight away. That is nice. Now, does that fish there meet those requirements? Not entirely sure. There's only one way to find out if we do that. No. So it needs to be a white fish with three black dots on it. Okay. <laughs> How do we determine that? I do not know. Okay, right, back into the water with you. Hang on, no, away with you, book. Back into the water. There you go. There you go. I was kind of hoping to get some more red fish on this one. But yeah, we've got... No, there's no red. There's no red there at all. We do need a black and an orange fish. Okay, that should be fairly easy to sort out. Black fish, orange fish. Right, you go into the little tiny pool and, you know, do your stuff. And there we go. So we have ourselves you. So what are you? You're mostly black with orange bits. Yeah, we'll keep you. And I think the others are just all one soul colour so yeah so right now the pond is you're free again bit of privacy so have another go because it'd be nice to have another one of those around but then yeah while they're swimming about that will cover that off but then we need a white and black fish with an orange fish crikey and then a white and yellow fish with a black fish okay <laughs> this is complicated this is getting complicated all of a sudden there are many combinations um okay oh hang on hang on you're mostly orange with black. Yep, keep you. However, all the others look relatively ordinary. Okay, so there we go. Sort those out. Right, one last try, you two. One last try. Let's see if you can make another blackfish with the orange sort of patterning on. Um, oh, what are you? Yellow and black. Okay, I'm surprised, but we will keep that. There we go. Wonderful stuff. I don't think you're anything. Okay, no and no and no. Okay, do you know what? Let's get you. 
because you're a nice fish anyway. So we'll get you. We'll put you there. I imagine you meet those requirements. Okay, that's fine. That's good. And then we've got ourselves. Yeah. So this is this is going to be this is going to be the interesting bit. So do that there. You can go into there. This is going to be interesting. So white with black and orange. So white. Yeah. So you kind of meet part of that. And then do you put a regular orange fish in or one of the orange ones with the white patterns or something? I don't know. I guess we will find out. So again, we'll just leave you to, you know, get on with the stuff that you need to do. Okay, so there are some little adorable baby fish. How are we looking on this? Oh my goodness me. Predominantly white, but then with black and then a bit of red. Yes, in you come. You sound amazing. You are white and black. We've already got some of those. So you can go into there. You look like you might have an extra colour on you. You're white and orange. Okay, do you know what will keep you? You like you've got all three. White, black, orange. Yes, keep you. You might be the one that we need to complete that bit in the book. That would be handy. And then, yeah, you look like you might be another one. White, black, orange. Yep, yeah, there we go. Got two of them. Quite happy with that now. What are you? White and black. I've got too many of those. So let's pop one of those into there. You can... Let's just check what you're like. Yeah, you can go free. Go into the River of Freedom. You are... Have we got many... That are orange with black spots on? No, not really. And then you can go into there. Right, just to stop you breeding again. Go into there and go into there. So I think we might have sorted that one out. Now we need to do the same with yellow. Or does it need to be white and yellow with black on the top? Have we got a white and yellow fish? Yes, white and yellow fish and then a black fish. Let's see what goes on with these. So we'll see what happens there. And yeah, these are interesting. How are we supposed to do it with these circles on their back how how do we make that happen i mean I, these are sort of okay because they're just sort of patterns but that seems quite tricky that seems quite tricky indeed i don't quite know how we get the patterns along their backs okay so they've had some fish a couple of them were just black fish so put them out there you what are you you are predominantly black with a little bit of white have we got one of those i don't think we have i don't think we have and you are the same okay yeah we'll put you in there we'll put you in there because that's quite an interesting it's quite an interesting mix just there. However, let's see if we can get you to come over here. You're now, yeah, you're 0 0.7 foot long, right? Do you meet the goals of that? Yes, you do. Okay, and then hopefully one of these fish will meet the goals of the other one. Yeah, predominantly, oh, predominantly yellow with then white and black. Yeah, we'll keep you. You sound awesome. And then you, yellow, black, white. Yeah, you, black and white. Okay, no, and then two black fish. Okay, right, so back into the stream. Let's see what you two can do next. Yeah, we need a predominantly white fish with then yellow and black on it. So let's see if we can get one of those. So there we go. Perfect. Well done, you two. Is that going to be okay? You can go into there. Let's move you out back into here as well, actually. So you into there. What are you like? Yellow and white. I'll keep you for a bit. You are yellow and white. Fine, got one of them. And you look like you might be, you've got black on you. Yeah, yellow, white and black. We'll keep you. There we go. So now, what was that? So yellow, no, white with yellow and black. Now, yeah, do we want to let you, do we want to let you grow a bit? I don't think you're going to, you're not going to meet that requirement, are you? You're too, you're too yellow. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll put you back in there. I think, is it you? I think it's you. Yeah, absolutely. It's that fish there that we need. So we want you to grow up a little bit. Now, the mystery of these. How do we do these? I'm not entirely sure how we get a white fish with those particular is it patterns do we need that certain set of patterns on it i mean you're a you're hang on a minute hang on hang on hang on you're a white fish with three spots on you do, do you count as that no what exactly does that mean what does it mean with the three spots down the back not entirely sure how we're supposed to do that particular thing okay okay well there you go you go back into the river of freedom you're gonna have a swim about we will wait for that one to grow up, the one that can fit this criteria here. And then we'll have to have a ponder about those two. We'll have to have a ponder about those. Hang on. What if we took a predominantly white fish with black stripes and then a predominantly black fish with white bits and then mix those together? Let's see what kind of thing they can come up with, given, you know, a little bit of privacy. OK, right. There are fish. Let's have a look at what they look like. I mean, they're very, very tiny. They're really tiny fish at the minute. I can't really see if they've got patterns on them or whatever. I mean, yeah, that's... I mean, does that meet that requirement? No. 
No, it doesn't. What are the three dots on the back then? Maybe there's something that I've not kind of happened across yet. You go back into there. That's fine. Go back into the water and join your fellows. Okay. Right, hang on. Move. What about you? You've got... I mean, do you meet those requirements? You've got... You've got sort of spots on you. No. No, you do not. I wonder if you need to have another colour combo thing just there or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I am now, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit befuddled by the whole fish breeding thing all of a sudden. <laughs> it's kind of confused us a bit. Yeah, and we need the final three to go to the next page of the book. So yeah, I don't know how exactly we're going to work this one out. Okay, in the little pond, we have ourselves this black fish here with, with a kind of white splodge. What if we left you in there? Let's put you in there, you in there. And then, yeah, and that's predominantly white fish with kind of black splodges. So let's leave those two in there. Is that, is that what we just did? We might have possibly just done that. We might have just done that with some slightly bigger fish and these two little ones. Okay, I mean, some, some baby fish have appeared. Are they what we're after? I can't see. They're too small. They're too teeny tiny to make out what's on their back right now. Okay, okay, never mind. Can we find the one that we want just here? I think it's you, isn't it? I think it's you. So can we pop you just there? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Well, there we go. We've at least got that side of the book done. It's now just these two kind of mystery fish here that I'm not entirely sure how we how we breed into existence. Oh yeah, before I forget, there is a way that you can share fish between yourself and other people who have the Koi Farm game. Let's take a quick look at that. So yeah, you can share your fish with them and they can share their fish with you. So what you do is, if you want to share this particular fish just here, this is Felicity the fish. So when we dragged Felicity the fish out from the pond into our little book, she kind of became a card. She kind of became a little trading card. And now she is a tradable item, I suppose. So yeah, she's in there. She's swimming about as Felicity the fish. We can see her patterns. She's predominantly black with yellow spots. She's got a weight of 5.79 pounds. She is 2.2 feet in length and she is 13 minutes old. I mean, yo, that sounds good to me. I don't know much about koi fish. So there you go. That's kind of her stats on her little trading card. But let's say somebody really, really wanted this particular fish. They really want Felicity the fish swimming about in their ponds. What you can do is you can click this and it kind of brings up this thing here, which is some sort of code. So we've got the little picture of the fish in the middle there. And then this circle made up of very excitingly brightly colored triangles is presumably some sort of thing which the game can read. And then it works out the you know weight and height and type of fish and markings and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of like a, a code almost. It might tell us there. This is a koi code. That will make sense. This image can be shared with other players to share koi. Drop a koi code into the game window to open it. So what you would do is you would export this as an actual file, make that file available to somebody else, and they would then drag it into their game, and then they would import that particular fish, and that fish would then plop into one of their ponds or whatever. I quite like that idea. The only thing is, I'm not entirely sure we can try it, because of course, nobody is going to send us a file because nobody knows I am playing this game right now. However, what we could do, what we could do is, where's that exciting redfish? There you are, right, you. So come here, redfish. So yeah, let's put you into, let's put you into here. So let's put you into there for now. So what we'll do is we will export the details of redfish here. Robbie the redfish, we'll call you Robbie. Robbie the redfish, we'll export your details. And then what we'll do is we'll then put you into the, the stream of freedom. You can then swim away and then we'll try and import you back in and just see if that very same fish drops back into our ponds. That's quite exciting. So let's give that a go. So we'll save this. It'll become an actual proper file that we need to save somewhere. And then, yeah, I'll try and drag it back in and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so now I have an exported file. I have an exported file which has a picture of that particular thing in, this kind of uh, koi code thing. That's now in a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to let you go, my friend. Hang on a minute. Can we... Can we get rid of you? There we go. So take you out of the book. Let's just put you over there and you can you can swim free. Swim free, Robbie the Redfish. Okay, so Robbie has now, he's coming back. Robbie, Robbie, it's time for you to go. Go go downstream and see what wonders there are down there. Robbie, that, but that, no, not this way. Robbie, that way. Go go, go off the screen, Robbie. Otherwise it's going to get confusing. Right, he's coming back this way. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The uh, Maybe it's going that way. Maybe the stream is flowing this way. Nope, because those fish are coming this way. He's very determined, is Robbie, to stick around. No, there we go. There we go. He's cleared off. He's seen something interesting over in that direction. Okay, wonderful. So now he's gone. So in theory, I should then be able to go and drag that file that I just created with the picture of his koi code thing on it. I should be able to drag that back into this game and let go. And we should be able to re-kind of you know, reinsert Robbie the Redfish 
back into the game. So let's see if that actually works. Here we go. So I'm dragging that file that we created over into the main game window. So it knows we're doing something. It's aware that we're trying to put something into the game. So if we just then let go, there he is. There's Robbie the Redfish. He's come back and then we can just, you know, treat him like any other card. We can put him back in there or we could put him back in the book or whatever. I could, that's quite a nice feature. That's a nice feature. I do like that. So if you've managed to breed a very, very you know, exciting or interesting fish or whatever, then yeah, you could share that. If it had lots of colours or it was really unusual or whatever, then you could share that with other people if that's what you wanted to do. Do you know what though? I think we have had a very good look at Koi Farm. I think we've taken a nice bit of time with it to see how it works and what it's all about. And yeah, it's very nice. It's very, very relaxing. I will admit to being a little bit puzzled as to how to uh, how to breed these particular fish. I'm not entirely sure what it's asking for. Is it specifically asking for fish with three spots along their backs? because that seems quite a tricky thing to do. And particularly if it's three spots in their backs that are in those particular locations, that might be quite hard to do. That might be quite hard to do because it does not look like we've got any fish that meet that criteria right now. But there we go, I guess, yeah, that's part of the challenge. But it is very nice. It's very lovely. It's very calm. It's very relaxing. There's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. You could have this playing and then you could go and make yourself a cup of tea or whatever else, and then come back and then just carry on. You know, it's not there's a time limit, nothing's going to happen whilst you're away or anything. You know, just fish are going to swim about and butterflies are going to flutter about. It's all very lovely indeed. And yeah, it does have itself a little bit of a sort of a puzzle mechanic. I mean, really, it's sort of a puzzle game, I suppose, to progress through the game to get more pages in your little sort of collector's book thing here. You do need to solve the puzzles of how to breed fish with these particular markings. So there is a little bit of a little bit of sort of thinking involved in there. But yeah, it's, you know, no pressure thinking. It's all very nice. It's very lovely. And I'm glad we took the time to check it out. It's a very nice sort of calm, relaxing game. And if you've had a really hard day or something, you've had a very stressy day and everything's just been, you know, really busy and intense and stuff, this game could be something that would help you out. It could help you chill out and relax a little bit. Just, you know, take your mind off of things and just, you know, look at fish. They're just gently swimming about and, you know, you put your mind at ease a little bit. So yes, it's very very enjoyable but yeah we'll finish it with it for the moment hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have then please do leave a like that would be most splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other things that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this robotic arm has salmonella on it okay so we've got two things that are diseased be warned about tutorial robot he's all sort of retro and adorable i think he wants to destroy humanity <laughs> hungry humans come and order some food 74 percent efficiency oh my goodness <laughs> wow there he is there's a murderous robot face 